and good afternoon. Yes, it's five past two. GMT. Ah, uh, so it is afternoon. Um, yeah, my friends. I say my friends. Um, uh, never met. Uh, um, but goes by the name of Medi on here, and is also a Facebook friend now, which is really cool. Um was asking about my piercings and I thought, ah, yeah, that's a quite good video to do. Um, so it's not the world's like most boring video number three um, type thing. Sorry, it's a tot, as one does on a, a Sunday afternoon watching quality TV. Mm. Anyway, um, yeah, so I thought, yeah, I like it. I can talk about my piercings. Um, oh, one more thing. My, my new watch that I got for my birthday, which I'm sure everyone remembers, I put it around that part of my arm for two reasons. First reason being that when it's down here on my wrist it it literally goes to like there and it swivels about a lot um and i got a slight scratch on the watch face which i don't want whereas if i wear it upon this part of my arm it can't go over my elbow bone like elbow part so a it won't get scratched and b it stays like it stays where it is and you can see the gothic fairies and things which i think is kind of cool and the whole point of me having the watch um yeah anyway piercings Right, okay. Started when, you know, I was like 9, 10, 11, 12 sort of age. How, you know, like, people want their ears pierced. And my mum allowed me to have my ears pierced. Like, you know, just... Um, I think I was about 12. And that was that. And I was really chuffed. Because, you know, um... That was like, you know, the mid 80s or whatever. Um, yeah, about 86, 87, something like that. Um, so, yeah, that was that. Um, then, a few years later, as I got into the whole kind of like grunge, goth scene, whatever, I then went for like, you know, um, a second piercing in one ear and then I think I got the top piercing there done when I was about 14 or 15 so yeah oh and then when I was how old I think I I was either 15 or I just turned 16 I think I was 15 because I was with my friend Clara and we went to a place called the Oasis in Birmingham, uh, which is where I grew up, um, which is like a mini Camden, like a very, very mini Camden, but brilliant nonetheless. And we both got our noses pierced, um, which, um, yeah, so sorry for my lack of technicality here, you know, like they've got names, what? they're called I just say ear that bit of ear that bit that bit of, yeah um so yeah got nose pierced so that was my first like facial piercing then I when I was in an eating disorder unit in 2006 I proceeded to pierce um a third hole there um 
I'd already got that one. Obviously, I already got the first one. Second one, I'd already got. So I I pierced my ania. Um, in the eating disorder unit in two thousand six. So I got another one there. So and I'd also got my nose piercing. And on that side, I think I then pierced also. No, no, I didn't. That side only had one. That only had one at that point. So up to 2006, all I got was one, two, three piercings there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. And then... Oh, yeah, and then... The next one I got, which I won't get out and show you because, uh, quite frankly, my stomach is burnt to hell. But I got my belly button pierced in, I think, about... Nah, hang on, 2006? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, that was done much earlier. The belly button piercing was done um, by... Um, in the same place, in the Oasis. Um in about oh god early 90s i think yeah yeah it was early 90s so but i always forget about that one i always forget that i've got my belly button pierced at all because i don't know i just didn't really see well you know what i mean um anyway then I no, I no longer have this particular piercing, which is a good job, because I don't think it would be appropriate for me to get it out and show you if I did. Let's just say I had my nipple pierced. However, I kept it in for about two years. This was in about... 2002 and I was with my husband then and he paid for me to have this done and my friend came along and had hers done as well um however I persevered with this piercing for two years and I do believe I actually got it out at one of, in 2009. Actually, it must have been done a bit later than, because I still had it at my, when I worked at um, a um, recruitment place. We went to Nottingham for one of our Christmas days because we had offices scattered around. And, um... I actually got the piercing out um, in the bar we were in. We were heavily alcohol, etc. But what used to happen, I'd be in the shower and you know, I love these things that you clean yourself with, you know, the shower puff things. But it kept catching and very sensitive area hang on tv is not happy because i'm watching something and it doesn't like me Master, forgive us. causing it hold up sorted it um and also without going into too much detail about my bodily parts i think some people have bodily parts that take piercings quite well um, and all is good. And I say, without going into too much detail, to put it bluntly, I don't have the sort of them bits that a piercing works on. I kept it in for as long as I could. Then I just, one day, I just said, do you know what? No, 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 no. And it had to come out. And now you'd never know I'd ever had it done. So that piercing is no longer in existence. Thank, thank God. Because 
it really was actually it, I thought it was very rock and roll of me at the time but um yeah I did the rock and roll thing and then I yeah took it out um so we now move on to the later piercings um I'll do this in a weird order I'll finish the ear thing first um right okay for starters this piercing here hang on first second one that is actually pierced if you can see it's pierced through that part of my ear like the the bone part like so essentially i could have a ring through there which i have had like that um so yeah that's that's not a piercing like say this one where it's just straight through my ear it goes through the bone so it's actually i've got a belly button bar as have i in most of them um because they stretched like that's a belly button bar that one there is actually a i believe tongue piercing bar which my son um my son had and then when he took it out and put a new one in i was left with the bar in that and obviously cleaned it up and now i've got that straight straight bar through that piercing um yeah this one i i professionally had done as in i you let the professionals do it um next i believe um and at the same time i got this one done which goes through oh god it's so hard to show um goes through uh, again the front part of your ear ashtray ashtray um yeah so it's through gristle so if you can see there's like there's a ball at the back and it, again it's a straight like that one line through and that sits at the front of my ear and the bar just the yeah so that's that one the right now i'm going to move on to the latest two that i did myself in the last two to three weeks which is this one no hang on sorry oh, oh sorry this one which was the very last one i did myself with a cork and a drawing pin and i'll tell you for why in a minute so that's that one there but that's still in the healing process and same with this one here was done around the same time a couple of days after um again i'll explain the reason why um so that's still in the healing process at the moment don't have any more piercings in that ear um reason i did those two a the reason i did them myself is because why pay someone to do it when i can do it myself and b because i'd had lots of earring gifts of people and i didn't have enough holes left to put the earrings in so i had to do two more holes in each year purely to accommodate the new jewelry which this is not this is just the look retainer the healing ones at the moment you know what i mean I clean them with saline solution. Again, it's just salt and water that I make myself in. Yeah, and just twist them every day. On to the facial piercings. Sorry if anyone's bored. Because I realise I'm talking a lot about piercings. Uh, but it is a piercings video. Mm. Right. First, so, first facial piercing we've already established was my nose. Way, way, way back. The second facial piercing I got was in 2010. I'd split up with my husband and I 
I got a new boyfriend. I won't mention his name or anything because you know it's past his past. He had a piercing there, and I thought it looked brilliant. So I went and got one. Totally painless. Loved it. Absolutely. Still do. I love all my piercings, but loved it. So that was the second facial piercing. Third one was my eyebrow. Now I wanted it done a crosswards, not that way. But they said that if I did that, it would outgrow. So I agreed to have it done the normal way. But now I'm really pleased because I've got a ring with a skull on it and I think it looks really cool and I get lots of cool comments like that. The next one I got done was this one and again ex-boyfriend in, ooh, ooh, dropping in 2012, when I say ex-boyfriend it was someone I met on a dating website. Um, he had that there. I thought it was brilliant. I thought it would be really painful. But when I pinched the skin there, I thought, actually, there's no nerves. There's no pain or anything. Went and got it done. Pain free. That was pain free. That was pain free. That was pain free. The only one, which is this one here, which I got done... That, that was the last one, apart from the ones I did myself, that I had done in Camden when I was with um, my son and his girlfriend at the time, um, about two, two and a half years ago. We went into, yeah, went into Camden shopping. Um, cut a long story short, I decided that I'd get that one. Now that surprised me. That was the only one that as soon as I had it done, they did it and I had it done, that effing hurt and I went straight to the pub. And yeah, do me wrong, I'm really glad I had it done. It's totally pain free now and I love it. I love the fact that I've got these two. But that was the only one out of all of them that actually made my eyes water and hurt. Whereas people ask me about that and you know, various other ones. It's like, no, I know we say to them, pinch that bit of skin. You can feel it's painless. Um, totally painless. But I never expected that to hurt like it did. I was, oh, oh, oh my God, TV's doing it again. It means I'm talking too long, actually. So I'd better stop the video. Um, as in, yeah, but that covers my piercings. Oh, I did have here, which I've got a scar now, somewhere here, one of those dermals where they insert it under your skin. So it was like a jaw there um that unfortunately due to the anorexia and the lack of skin it that did outgrow because there just was simply not enough flesh there but it did look really good i had like a sparkly uh yeah dermal that's what they're called dermal piercing there however I plan to have no more piercings in the near future, but I never say never. And that is my piercings video concluded. I will now go and have a good Sunday, peoples, and I love you all.